I'll drop the tow line to you guys um, so I can keep the dinghy attached to the boat with propulsion. Yep, we'll get down here. So a lobster boat just came by and waked us right when we're trying to do a pass off here and untie our tow. Oh my god. On our passage from Mudhole, we checked our transmission fluid and accidentally destroyed a piece of our dipstick, which polluted the fluid with metal bits, rendering the engine unusable. As you saw in our last episode, our buddy boat and friends on Delos came to the rescue and towed us here. Now we're anchoring using the dinghy as propulsion. Brian and Kaza can't stay here because it's too shallow and with weather coming in tomorrow, need to proceed on to a protected anchorage. We also need to get somewhere more protected, but first have to deal with the transmission. Did you make it? We made it, anchored down, I don't know if it's set. I might go in reverse it and thingy a little bit. Super grateful for Delos, for Brian and Kaza. Thank God Delos is here to help tow us. I thought about going for a sail, but <laughs> Not much in the way of wind, it would have been real, real painful. Um, we're gonna go now and get some transmission fluid and flush it. Hopefully we'll be able to get in there before it closes um, and fix this today so we can leave tomorrow because it's gonna be blowing really strong the next night, so we have to be somewhere by then. Uh, so I called the mechanic who helped us replace the transmission and he, I asked about the first person who have ever done this, and he said I was the first person to admit it. Um, it turned out the tolerances on those dipsticks are about a millimeter, so I guess the propeller was slowly spinning even though we were neutral, and it just pfft. So we said to stick the pump down, the vacuum pump that we have, as far down, and just keep sucking it up and keep swap swapping the fluid over. So I'm gonna go down and pump it out. Initially, when we were offshore before Brian towed us, we changed the fluid out, we took, you know, we took we took the old fluid out and we put new fluid in, mm -hmm. and now it's been sitting for a few hours. So I'm going to pump it out again and see what it looks like. He told me a little trick to like push it, to push the vacuum pump outboard and then in to get around the gear. He said everything's going to settle to the bottom of the housing. There's mm -hmm. a little sump down there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's metal in the bottom of it. Is there? Yeah, can you see that? Yep. Metal bits means we've got to flush the transmission again. So Bill removes the rest of it, adds more back, and lets it sit, and then we check again. Floating around. What we got this time? It's cleaner. I guess I'll come bring it down to you. Actually, not as bad as last time, but Which is the whole you can see little sparkles though. See? The little silver bits. So that's our third change. We're going to let that sit for a few minutes and hopefully um, there's no metal that comes up in it. So we just ran into town to get some more um, transmission fluid because we felt like we should do this one more time. Um, and we're checking the last batch that we put in before we went to town and it looks like there might still be some metal it might be a good thing that we got more fluid let's see it's closely a little bit huh mm, those look more like oh yeah yeah like little that might be better though let's see more, much more fine the metal. It's not sparkling as much. Let's do one more time though. One last time we go through the process. Then the fluid will be clear, which means we should be safe to run the engine again tomorrow when it's time to shove off again. Man, it went crazy windy here today. It's like nuts. 
blowing. It's coming down this mountaintop. Check it out. We've woken up in the spot we were trying to get to on the day we got towed. We're back at Valley Cove by Acadia, and just in time for the windy weather that's now here. Yesterday's passage was beautifully uneventful, and today's agenda item is simply watching the boat. Now, mid-October, weather patterns are beginning to shift quickly. So despite all the craziness around us, Grace is insistent upon making a nice meal. <laughs> She's making, what are you making here? Pancakes, sausages, um, scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, mine are blueberry pancakes. Bill's are just banana. We almost lost a pan if we didn't have the gimbal on the stove open. Yeah. Um, yeah, a little bit of an aggressive morning here. Struggle is real. Let's see. Trying to be a chef right now. Not easy. So the boat is moving around like it's sailing, kind of. I don't know what it's moving around like, but it's just like they're on a skating rink. And the boat's just moving all over the ice. That's what it feels like. Like it does not feel like we're at anchor. Oh my god. Shit. So that got pretty hectic. There's some crazy gusts coming down the mountainside, and I could see like this wall of water bubbling, like white, like I guess it's called like willy walls. And the uh, staysail opened up at the top of the sail. Like, you know, they say take down jibs in heavy weather. <laughs> or, for some reason, it grabbed the top and just opened up the whole sail, and the mast was like pumping and shaking. Um, it was a little crazy. I haven't had coffee yet. I'm just trying to have my first coffee in the morning. <laughs> it's just time to leave Maine. Yeah, we're debating whether we should move closer to the protection of this cove or another harbor. None of them sound very fun considering it's blowing like 30 knots. So, yeah, trying to see. Brian got 36 knots. Yeah, we maxed out at 33. It's not on our instruments, but. Ours is significantly lower for some reason. Mm. We had an anchor alarm go off, right? Yeah, but I think it was just a lot of drama in the last 15 minutes. I think when the sail opened up, it just like pushed us back into the alarm. But you can see we're we're in the same swing area. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I got. GBD. Yeah, I got to figure out why that stasel is opening up because it's happened twice now in heavy air, yeah. and that's supposed to be our heavy air sail. Like we want that ready to deploy. So. That scares me. Yeah, I don't know if I'm not like furling it tight enough, or you know, maybe maybe because it has like a has a has like a zipper luff. It's not like in a extrusion like a regular furler. Like maybe that's like furling looser, and then the wind gets in there and sh shakes it all open. Yeah. But yeah, we'll have to figure that one out. Yeah, but I guess we'll stand by. I don't know what we're gonna do. Keep an eye out. Mm.
and it would be the perfect sale for it. So I'm geared up. Ready to go. there after we put the main up and it was really windy and rough and we decided to wait a bit to deal with the staysail so now we're back into calmer waters and we're going to put it up because it's still blowing like 17 knots oh 15 because we're not moving but so yeah anyway here we go <laughs> tax on the furling Come, here we go. raise the staysail nearby the shoreline for wind protection. It means we are navigating closer to submerged rocks. That, combined with ever-present lobster pots, means I can't leave the helm to help Bill. When he comes back to the cockpit briefly, I see a lot of blood and give him the paper towels I managed to grab from down below. I return to concentrating on sailing us safely through the pots and by the rocky shoreline, and Bill goes back to the bow to finish taking down the staysail. So I feel like I got punched in the face by a boxer or something. We're trying to get that staysail up. Uh, we were in light air behind an island and I guess we came out from behind it or a gust and it started luffing everywhere and the metal shackle smacked me in the cheek. Kind of bled all over the place and my cheekbone's really sore. Um, yeah, I guess it's like, you know, when you're raising a sail that's on a stay that raises as well, it doesn't have a wire to keep the sail away from your face. Uh, we might have to raise that sail going downwind or something to keep it away from me because that, that wasn't good. <laughs> I'm really thankful it didn't hit my eye or something over teeth or eyes. So it was a pretty deep hole in my face right now, but I think we're gonna try to glue it when we get in the shore. But yeah. Out of gown flowing 22 23. There's so many white caps, though, we could not see lobster pots. We didn't want to dip the space off, they're whacking me in the face. So, we have a rolled out jib and a reef main doing about seven and a half knots. It's been a pretty um, adventurous day. So I am just 
happy to be getting into this spot that we've chosen, Seal Cove, and not go all the way to the place we wanted to go to. It's just, I think we need to look at Will's cut a little bit better. It's still bleeding a lot. Um, and yeah, it's just blowing more than it was called for. Looks like it might be better tomorrow, so we'll just finish this trip tomorrow. Got some blood to clean off the deck too. So, yeah. It's uh, one o'clock. After today, I feel like it's time for like a hot toddy or something. You know, a little whiskey and tea. It's like 40 degrees out, I got hit in the face. Lobster pots everywhere. I'm kinda like, I think I'm done up today. Yeah. Might be time for a break. I am sort of enjoying sailing at 7.4 knots. We haven't actually sailed like all summer. Like this boat's a beast. She's just like freight training through. It feels pretty good. Hey, at least I'm breathing. I know. It took a while Been looking for a sweet song A sign of spring Waiting for a reason to laugh To sing Cause I've been spending all my time to figure out just how I've been spending way too many thoughts on what went wrong But what goes up must come down Is what goes up So we successfully made it to Camden, which is awesome. Um, we're on a little dock that we're tied up to next to Delos. So we're sharing a little dock together, um, a little floating dock in the harbor and it's calm and it's a beautiful day. It feels good to be here. Um, but kind of going with the theme of Maine, it's it was it ended up being challenging in the sense that we broke something on the way over and it's a pretty short passage. So it's kind of a disappointing. Um, but we've been having trouble with our heating duct because we installed our heater in Portugal and didn't have the right materials um, to properly tape it. And uh, it fell off and it basically caused one of our water pipes that was near it, our water hoses, to split and burst. So Bill's fixing that now because we have no water and hopefully he can fix it soon. He had a spare hose, so that's good. Um, just gonna see if it's the right length and size right now. Um, and yeah, I am making lunch for us and then I'm gonna do some editing and then we'll probably go into town um, with Delos later because we're so close to this uh, shoreline being on the inner harbor. So it makes it really easy and we haven't really been in the towns yet in Maine really, so. Sorry, I keep looking over. I see. There's a nugget. I see, see, nug see nugget through the window. Hey, nugget. Nugget here. Hi. <laughs> Turn on a faucet, too. Turn on a faucet. I don't think it's leaking yet, but it's good. <laughs> it's a little bit hard to maneuver around when the stairs are gone. <laughs> think so. Uh, yeah. I don't see anything down here. That's for the pasta. Sweet. Good job, honey.
The boats are getting hauled out for the season here. Yeah, you can see the crane working over there. Everyone's kind of high of activity here. Time to go south, I think. Yeah. Beautiful Our, day though yeah. today. Yeah, the nights are cold, but the days are beautiful. The like, days are actually, we don't even need a jacket, right? Yeah. But the nights are getting like down, almost freezing now, or below freezing. Yeah. So, yeah. Lovely weather, Bill! Let's go to the tropics! Is it supposed to rain this much? Yeah. Is this windy in here? It's weird, because last time it was supposed to be really windy when we first came in here. It wasn't that bad, remember? Yeah. So I didn't really pay attention to it. I assume it was just really protected, but... I guess maybe it's funneling down the mountain behind us because out of the north this time, winter is coming. Yeah. <laughs> Might be time to go south. <laughs> Going on our last hike. That's it. See you, Acadia. Take <laughs> 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 a walk. Hands of camera. What you doing, honey? <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Are you scared? No. Why? Look these ghosts. Trying to like just be domestic right now.